Hello, YouTube. We're starting a new fortress, Gritbeards 22. Are you ready? Then I'll begin. You have arrived. After a journey from the mountain homes into the forbidding wilderness beyond, your harsh trek has finally ended. Your party of seven is to make an outpost for the glory of all Lasganokogan. There are almost no supplies left, but with stout labour comes sustenance, whether by bolt, plough, or hook, provide for your dwarves. You're expecting a supply caravan just before winter entombs you, but it is spring now. Enough time to delve secure lodgings, ere the Unib's fists get hungry. A new chapter of dwarven history begins here, at this place, Mumuzdurad, Cryptbeards. Strike the earth. And strike the earth we shall. Are we ready? Are we all ready for this? They have missed quite a bit, Sal. You're quite right. But hey, it's not fair. They couldn't make it. They couldn't be here. They didn't even know this was happening, some of them. They didn't even know. They have no idea what... Either what indeed. I've got no idea what that is. The Unib's fist. What, what is an Unib's fist? I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure they'll appear sooner or later. Um, the game's frozen. <laughs> the War Fortress is not responding. This is a bad sign, just in case anyone's wondering. The embark was fun. The sack of loving shall prevail. This sack was made for loving you, baby. I'm not sure what's worse, the Dwarf Fortress not responding, or what I just said. Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it will be fine. Maybe we should make it some sort of fortress tradition for the sack of loving to teabag their enemies as they fall to the ground. Ha! Ah, we're in! Fantastic! Uh, not enough free nest box zones. Okay, sure. Whatever. Let's take a little look around and get the lay of the land. Now, the volcano has incredibly straight edges. Look at that. There's more straight edges here than Utah. There's a little uh, punk joke. A little punk joke for everybody. Let's uh, scroll up. That is a very steep volcano cone. Very. Uh, poop save before crash. Now, there's an interesting proposition, and I think I'm going to endorse it. Let's type in a spell. Spellcasting. Q-U-I-C-K-S-A-V-E. Quick save. There we go. Game will save its state, and hopefully we won't lose any of our sweet, sweet progress that we've barely made. It's going to be good. Come on. Come on. I think I'll zoom out as well, just to get a bit more of an idea. It seems very flat, with a sudden very imposing volcano coming out of the side. It's an impressive right angle. <laughs> I think they do. I think anybody... The, the parp, the poop and the parp, always gives people a little start. It certainly does for me. It gives me a little bit of a... Huh? Huh? What's going on? What's happening? Like that bit at the beginning. Do you remember the old um, manga videos that got released in the UK? Do you remember when anime was synonymous with the word manga in the UK, even though that's not what it means? Do you remember? And they had that video with, um, I think it's Celtic Frost playing at the beginning or something like that. No? Am I the only one? Am I the only one? That's true, but there was um, there was a, a label in the UK that released uh, anime called Manga, which was very confusing for people who weren't quite up to speed on the definitions. Okay, we've got a few little plateaus up here that we can use. That's not too bad. But the volcano cone goes much higher than the actual magma surface itself. And if we go down a bit, uh, it seems like the magma is pretty much on a level with the ground. And the sides are so high, I do feel like we might be able to do what we did before and just floor over the volcano immediately. Go in there and get ourselves a nice little, uh, a nice little production zone, right? It doesn't look like we need to do much to get the magma into a position where we can use it. Hmm. It is low. I would agree with that. How about the uh, the rest of the area? Got a few ponds. Nothing too exciting. Nothing that's going to be much use for getting food out of, for sure. Got plenty of trees around. That's good. 
should be able to collect fruit to make booze. That'll be handy. I suppose it's just a matter of deciding where to break into the mountainside, I think. You can make the entrance a giant retractable bridge over the entrance. Over the magma, I think you mean. Makes for fitting dumps of invaders. That's true. That's very true. We could have the entryway go directly over the magma. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> could do. We do want to delve deep, but I feel like first first of all, we need to do a little um a little setup on the surface like we normally do. And then we need to do an external shaft that digs down to find the caverns. And then once we've done that, we can think more seriously about setting up our deep, deep fortress, right? It's a very nice surface, isn't it? It's very neat. Very neat. Let me try um, doing multi-level thing again. Um, oh, shit. Uh, multi-level 15, is that what we have to type in? Question mark. Could be right. Let's have a little look. Yes, that was the correct thing to type in. Man, that is a uh, substantial spire. It loses a lot of its squareness as it comes out of the ground, but man, it's quite nice. Hmm. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> it is a bit. It is a bit tidy. Well, yes, the idea is to dig straight away, but I like to make sure that we're not digging straight into, uh, like, linking our fortress to a cavern. That's that's an issue. Then again, maybe we just go straight down. Sod it. Let's do it. Um, I'm going to make. Oh, it's so tempting to make a three wide indentation there to be the entryway, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to succumb to the temptation. I am going to. Think of it. <laughs> oh no. I'm I'm just scared of breaking into this pristine wall. Oh, it's a white sand wall. Okay, that changes things somewhat. I thought we were going to be digging into stone, but it seems like we've got quite a bit of white sand knocking around here. Which means we can do a lot with glass, right? If we've got some decent sand squares available, we can set up some nice glassy stuff. Ooh. Maybe we do dig into the wall here at that natural. Oh no, sand. Do we want the sand wall being our external face for the fortress? I don't think so. Right, I'm going to start thinking about stuff before we do it. So here's a few suggestions. Okay, so here's a bit of stone. Dig into that. No, wait, 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 wait. Dig in over here. And, um, uh, oh, it's so pristine and lovely. It's just it's worrying. I don't really want to break into it in, an, in a bad way. I'll tell you what, we're going to go straight in here. This side of the map here. Dig into the side of the mountain. Boom, 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 like that. And then we're going to put some doors in, and a little bit of corridor. And then we're going to set I for up downstairs. And we're just going to go. How many floors is that? That is 32. Let's do it 30 floors. There we go. Then we can put in a little cavern baffle. Who doesn't like a lovely little cavern baffle? I know I do. Love a cavern baffle, just to be sure we don't end up fucking ourselves. We're too long. There we go, like that. And then we go back in, and we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, thirty. Thirty bash. And do another cavern baffle because I can. No, not like that. Not like that. You fool. Like that. There we go. And then there, and there, and there, and then we'll do a little. Da -da 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 -da. Oh! Question mark. 
That doesn't seem optimal, but we'll take it down that far and see how it goes. Right, resume. Let's get those miners going. Come on, in you go. In you go. We also need a, what the hell is that? Eye of Puck. What the hell is an Eye of Puck? Let's have a little look. <clears throat> a three-eyed humanoid. It has a twisting, jointed trunk. Its charcoal skin is wrinkled. This was first created by the human necromancer Punk Squirtslop of Whisperroof after horrible experiments. Ongo... Hang on. After horrible experiments on the goblin Ongo Contest Devils in Night Rounded in the year 239. It is average in size. Is this going to just charge in and attack everybody? Have we just witnessed the end? Oh, dear. <laughs> Rip. I bet they have more than two eyes on average. Okay. Hang on. Just a quick chance. Chance! No uniform. We're going to open with a crit beards rush. So you, 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 you. All going. Everyone's in the military now. Squad. The Steel Sabres can kill the Eye of Puck. I don't think this is going to work, but we'll give it a go. Oh, it ran off. Hello. Okay, hang on. Cancel the order. Belay that order number two. Uh, A, O. There we go. A, O. Let's go. Unpause. Holy shit. At 100 frames a second, it really clips along. Okay, don't catch it. Don't. Oh, you. Oh, no, he's chasing it. It seems to be pretty scared of him. Interesting. Do you think they'll be able to kill it if they all move in? This could this could actually end up working. The miners are going a bit crazy, aren't they? Get down there, fasty, fasty, as quick as you can. Come on, lads, diggy, diggy. Let's get us inside. We struck a cat's eye. Well, that's good to know. Good to know. Okay, the little undead doobry seems a little bit cowardly. Go off the edge of the map if you're worried. Go on, sling your rook. GTFO, as they say. Get the fuck out of here. Hmm? Is that what you're going to do, or are you going to come wandering back over here? Do you want me to reactivate my military? Because I fucking will. I'll give you a full strength Crypt Beards rush. Oh, here comes an animal. Oh, the animal's scared. But it seems like the undead beastie is not the worst of it. Pineapple opals. Oh my goodness, we're hitting all sorts of gemstones. Let's keep going down. Oh, you have discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. Oh, that's, um... Holy shit, that was quick. Wow, we really have. We've really ploughed into it as well. Okay, um... Kind of annoying that we didn't actually even get to the first cavern baffle, and therefore we've just got a straight line from the caverns to the surface, but can't really be helped. Hmm. Hmm. Are we going to get hit in the sack of loving? Quite probably. Quite probably. What else is on the map? Let's have a little look. Uh, just the eye of Puck and a porcupine. Nothing too exciting. Nothing particularly worrisome. It's looking pretty good. Pretty good for now. Um, I mean, now we've opened the caverns, do we immediately attempt to establish some sort of surface level endeavour, or do we just get down there as quick as we can? Because we do need to establish some kind of proper entryway on the surface, at the very least, don't we? Let's do that. Let's dig in. Do it right here. There we go. Dig a nice long tunnel. Let's see what we find. Let's see what we find. As long as that eye of puck doesn't start killing things, we should be okay. Keep everyone calm. Hang out at the wagon. Be all cool. Don't worry. Right, in come the miners. Get digging. Very good. Very lovely. You should rip through the sand pretty quickly, right? Although I did immediately start the digging 
right on top of some stone, so whatever. Oh, whatever. Maybe we can capture him, train him, and get him to join us. We're going to need some cages for that, but, you know, it's not off the cards. Maybe we can capture and train an Eye of Puck? I mean, it's an undead monster. I don't know how capturable and trainable they are, but we can give it a go. Come on, everybody. Get indoors. We need a freaking food stuff set up immediately, which means coming and digging down and round. Oh, what's this? Olivine. Oh, lovely green walls. Very pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. Oh, here he comes. There's the Eye of Puck. Back up the mountainside. Fine. As long as he remains relatively non-hostile, we can be okay with him being here. Um, come on. Dig a little bit longer. Also, let's put a trade depot in immediately as soon as we get in there. Uh, there we go. Three, and then... Bang. Lovely. Let's get that sorted. And also, once we bring the corridor back round again, I want to go down and get underground. Down, down, deeper and down. Then again, we could actually build farms down in the caverns, couldn't we? That's not the craziest notion. Although, looking at it, it's a little bit labyrinth labyrinthine? Labyrinthine, right? Dance, magic, dance. What? Kind of magic card piece to wear. Good old David. 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 There we go. Got a lovely dig. In comes the trade depot. Come on, we need to get a farm up and running ASAP. That's it, lads. Diggy, diggy. Diggy, 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 diggy. Hello, buck. Still no uh, attackers. Let's have a quick check. We've got four people on board now. Raven, Raven, Porcupine, and Cave Crocodile. Oh, the undead doodars wandered off. Well, that's a good sign, isn't it? That's a very good sign. Keep digging, lads. Keep digging. That's it. And then I think what we'll do is we're going to have... At least a temporary farm set up. Oh crap, don't. Ah! Oh, for God's fucking sake. Um, and we're going to go down two levels. Let's just do it here, not there. There we go. One, two, bang. Lovely. And then I come back up to the surface and cancel this unnecessarily long corridor. There we go. We've got to get some growing going on as soon as we can. So we're going to dig out an area there. We're going to dig back down underneath and hopefully still find soil. That's the plan. That's the dream. That's the ideal outcome. Uh, the Eye of Puck probably ran back to Puck to tell him about the new victims moving in. True. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, it does have this kind of I am a spy creature sort of vibe about it, doesn't it? Okay, let's dig. A little bit this way, like that. There we go. And then we're going to go like that and dig down and hopefully get some soil. That's what we want. We want a nice bit of soil. Good. Good. Also, let's build workshop, carpenter's workshop. <clears throat> Bang. And a, we get a gabbro, mason's workshop. Bang. Also a gabbro. And then we can go to DT, auto chop, uh, auto chop on, uh, skip fruit trees on, skip edible product trees on for now, skip cookable product trees on for now. There we go. That should be fine, right? Oh shit, that's a lot of trees getting chopped down. We're going to have more wood than we know what to do with pretty shortly, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's watch as they dig along. What kind of stone have we got here? Rhyolite. Very pleasant. Very pleasant. Oh my goodness, 40 viewers. Holy mother of moly. That's a lot of eyeballs. <laughs> Boss, they're crazy. They made friends with the devil at their last place. That's true. That's very true. Maybe rumours have come across the dimensions from uh, where we were before, and now they're worried. Maybe they're worried. Hello, scubs. 
Welcome back again. Thanks for joining us. We're embarking on a whole new world of tiny people digging the ground. It's going to be great. We've already had an undead turn up, which scared the living bejeebus out of everybody. And then we rushed it and it ran away, which was nice. That's what you want, really, in an undead, isn't it? Uh, let's build a trade depot. That's probably a good idea. There we are. Make it out of uh, Gabbro? Sure. Why not? And let's hope to high heckins that we end up getting a little bit of soil. I'm hoping that away from the volcano, away from the mountains, the soil's going to go fairly deep. Because I think on Embark it said there was deep soil. I think it said that. There's a good chance I'm wrong. But let's just keep our fingers crossed, shall we? What's the rules of dealing with undead? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I very rarely do it. I feel like they have to be mangled, don't they? I watched uh, I watched a Krug Smash video in which he was in a biome where things kept coming back to life, and I believe he said things must be mangled to prevent them from coming. Do experiments count as undead? Hmm, intriguing. I've had no interaction with necromancers in this game at all yet. Guys still aren't outside the perimeter of the volcano, that's fine. That's fine. We should probably build a wood stockpile, keep people busy, right? Build it next to the carpenter's workshop, make it fairly substantial. Be nice. Be good. It's what you want, isn't it? And we should probably go ahead and add five, seven beds, right? One, two, three, four, five, uh, <laughs> six, seven. There we go. Oh, my brain shut down for a second there. You'll have to forgive me, it is 3am here, so I don't know how long I'll be managing to push on, but uh, we'll, we'll keep going for a bit. Keep going for a bit. Have we hit soil yet? They're right at the bottom of the map, just above it. No, oh, they are outside the volcano perimeter, so maybe my dreams of deep soil are a little bit too much. A shade on the naive side. Then again, if we're careful, we can always pave outside and just go up a floor, right? Now I've got this ugly corridor here. I'm a bit annoyed, though. Mind you, this could serve quite well as a trap corridor, couldn't it? As a way into the fortress from the surface. Because we haven't really... haven't really got too, uh, too silly with it yet. Let's get silly with it. I don't think they are undead, but there are some tough ones. Hmm. Oh god, it started raining. The beginning of the end for the dwarves. I was rained on. Oh, woe is me. Oh, woe is me. Da, 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 da. Sorry, getting a bit Rocky Horror there for some reason. Blimey. We've struck Harlequin Opal. Very nice. I think we are going to have to go up to get any kind of, uh, yeah, to get any kind of stuff. So that also means we're probably going to need to pave this entire outside area to prevent easy access from the surface, right? From tree roots. <clears throat> That's okay. I can live with that. I can live with that. But for now, um, oh, Jesus, what to do? What to do? Pause it while we think. Um, okay, I'm just going to do upstairs D, up downstairs, going in the corridor right at the end. Oh, it seems seems foolish, but sure. D right up downstairs. Cool. And when the stairs go up, well, they'll have farms, and when they go down, we'll be heading deeper. Into the ground, yes? Question mark? Qu'est-ce que c'est? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Had some that dodged all traps and dispatched axe lords without a scratch. They were listed as demonic experiments. Oh my god. I have put the, I've got the trade depot in already. Oh, well, I've, I've carved the space out and designated it for construction, but uh, apparently nobody's got any architecture, which is a bit of a problem, isn't it? Bit of a problem. Um, let me quickly have a little look at Dwarf Therapist and see what's going on, shall we? Shall we 
Should we go over there? Ugh. Better. Much better. That Luma wipe. What an annoyance. Um, actually, maybe I shouldn't leave this too unattended. We'll watch them come down here and dig. Or oh, I'll watch them come down here and dig. I've got the game running in the background. Um, we need to look at my list of people who requested dwarves, don't we? We need to go into my uh, stream manager and uh, bear with me one minute. We need to go and check. What is it? Uh, community channel points. Here we go. Manage rewards. Review requests queue. And we've got three people who have requested dwarves named after them. Cranium Brood, Choo Choo Tracks, and Salford Sal. We'll start with Cranium Brood. Uh, one of the miners is going to be reserved for Rando 303 because I know for a fact he loves a miner. He loves a miner. And please do bear in mind that's miner with an E, not an O. Just to be uh, avoiding any potential legal ramifications for what I said. There's Cranium Brood. He's in. Uh, commit. Next, we've got Choo Choo Tracks coming in. Here we go. Control C. Irvad. Set nickname. Irvad no longer. Your Choo Choo Tracks now. Commit. Mark as complete. And Salford Sal. Number three. There we go. And Mebzuth. There we go. Set nickname. Salford Sal. Go. You're in. Committed. And then we'll get one of our miners, Udil, here. Set nickname. Rando 303. I wonder how many randos we'll get through before the end of the fortress. Who knows? Could be one, could be hundreds. We've already got a petition available. A little bit annoying. What gives? Why is... Oh, God. D. Um, we need downstairs, don't we? There we go. Come to where we were. Go up a floor. Dum, dum, bump. Lovely. And then we let them build those. Looks like two of them have been selected. Hopefully this will reveal soil, which would be very nice. Very nice indeed. Most pleasant. Pleasant. There we go. And then let's maybe start some music, to be honest. This is the comfiest stream ever. Noodle McTP says, cool man. Oh, of course, I could pop that in for you. Could pop some, pop him in. Why not? Noodle McBeauty. There we go. There we go. You're getting in. You're getting in. I'm just going to whack you in. Uh, Domas here. Domas here is now going to be Noodle McTP. There we go. Sorted. Commit. Let's go back to the fortress. Uh, what's this? Sand. Shit. Can we grow anything in sand? Or is sand not really an option? I'm having horrible problems here. Nylon Glowed Pleats wishes to reside in Cryptbeards for the purpose of eradicating monsters. Do you approve this request? Uh, I think we might need him, actually, so yes, why not? Seems a bit weird that they've turned up before we've even started making any kind of, um, like, well, anything, but sure. Okay. Uh, let's see if he digs down there. I'll piss off if we come across any soil. Hopefully someone in chat is saying, yeah, you can grow crops in sand. Boom. Yes, that's good. That's very good. <laughs> Play metalcore to fix the comfy problem. <coughs> As you do. Could do. Can I be a farmer taking care of plump helmets all my life? Sure. You can be a helmet tender. Plump helmets. Doo -doo 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 -doo. They are plump. They're also in the shape of helmets. Not that kind of helmet. Come on. Um, okay, here we go. Nice big plump helmet room. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Boom. It's bigger than it needs to be. But hey, it's not a problem, is it? Is that a problem? Is that a problem? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> hmm, Uh, Sand is a soil. Good. And, uh... Uh, Johath, Jothrant, Jothrant Studios. Not quite, not quite sure what kind of J that is, but we'll go with uh, Jothrant Studios for now. Oh, wow, that style sheet is rad. Well, thank you very much. Much appreciated. I'm presuming you're talking about old uh, dwarf therapist here. Buh, 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 buh. 
Ba 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 ba. Because uh, I believe if you talk to South and South, she'll be able to tell you how to get your dwarf therapist looking like that. She was the one who told me. She was the one who kept me informed. Oh, dark grass. Oh, oh, oh the. Okay. All this stuff is growing in here already because we've breached the caverns. Very nice. Very good. I could have made this smaller, to be honest. I feel like I've fucked up a bit making it so large where it's going to take forever to dig out. Well, that's okay. We can build ourselves a lovely little farm plop. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Ah, someone watched Goldfinger last week. Well, Dark Pixel, there you go. A little refresher in the tune. I pronounced it perfectly. Ah, good. Jothrant Studios. I've probably changed my pronunciation there, haven't I? I've induced a face palm of some kind, more than likely. My generic church is called the Sanctum of Lobsters. Mm, this is nice. Lobsters. Or as I like to call them, long crabs. The cavern breach is also why the monster hunter turned up. Ah, okay, Tidy. Okay. I get the idea. I see what goes on. It all makes sense suddenly. Oh my goodness, it's ten past three already. Be warned, we may not get much fortressing done in this session from now on, because uh, I am starting to flag. I can feel myself waning. I'm so tired. It's so early in the morning or late at night, depending on how you view it. Oh, oh, please, please let me sleep. I just want to close my eyes for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I snore. It's not really. I've got no idea how I snore. I'm asleep when it happens. Come on, guys. Dig me enough square space for me. Square space? Oh. Okay. Hmm. The dead walk. Hide while you still can. Well, we have literally no means by which to figure it out. We can't hide behind any doors or gates. We have no weapons other than a woodcutter's axe to defend ourselves. So... Ooh. Oh dear. That's what happened, Tidy, with my snoring. That raised the dead. Go into the fortress. Seal off the entrance. I mean, I would, but that's all of our seeds and shit outside as well. Okay, we'll give it a crack. We'll give it a crack. What we're going to do is we're going to say W. We're going to say everybody go into this burrow here. Should be enough stone to build a wall. I'm going to put in an order to build, build constructed wall. I'm going to build that wall here. Have a gabbro, the closest stone. And then let's quickly check that's inside the burrow. It is slightly overlapping the burrow, which is not perfect. Someone might end up outside as if they're going to get in here quick enough. Uh, and then we put on an alert M A. Burrow, Bosch. Everybody in? Quick, quick, quick. Before the old zombos get up here. Come on, animals, you can come too. You are allowed. Oh, what? Zombies using crossbows? What is this? Oh, no, that's, um, that's our human crossbowman. Why are you shooting our... Why are you shooting at our people? Oh, they're all human. Wait. Question mark? Gustum Sable Mystery. Reveal more of your dank secrets. Tell me more about yourself. A medium-sized creature prone to great ambition. His wavy, greasy hair is extremely long. He has a very narrow chin. His teeth are gapped. His extremely tall... Have... His extremely tall ears have nearly fused lobes. He has a clear voice. His nose bridge is somewhat concave. His slightly thin, irised brown eyes are slightly wide-set. His hair is white. His skin is raw umber. 
His eyebrows are slightly low. Hmm. Okay. So, I thought they were undead. I thought we were dealing with an undead incursion. All my lovely animals. Ah, oh, Christ. I should have brought everybody inside much quicker. Totally beansed it. That said, it looks like the wall might get built. We may lose our animals. But... But, is that wall going to get built? Have you decided to suspend construction? You fuckwits, get on with it. Oh, they won't do it. There's too many undead. No, they're trying to run away. They're not going to do it. Oh, oh, oh. No, they breached. They're in. Everybody died. Or everybody will die, at least. Uh, here they go, getting ripped up, torn apart, rent asunder, destroyed, killed. Rando 303, stockade dealers, has assumed the position of expedition leader of the Sack of Loving. Well, <laughs> that's nice. Well done. You've ascended to greatness in a time of problems. Let's use that word, problems. How many dwarves do we have? We had a population of seven adults, zero children, and zero vulnerable babies. We now have one adult. Rando 303 is the sole remaining dwarf in this fortress. Is it possible that they will get bored and piss off before he dies? <laughs> it really isn't. Uh, we can follow him. We can follow him and last his and follow his final harrowing moments. Oh, hello. He's making run for it. And he's going down to the sandy room and then coming back up, of course, as one does. And OK, it's only a matter of time until he's fully cornered. I mean, I could remove the alert. Let's try that. Let's see if it stops him running out there all the time so he can just hide here. No. He doesn't appear to be interested in doing that. It's a shame the undead are just humans. It would have been nice to have been taken out by something a little fancier. Something a little bit more dangerous, like actual undead. But no. No, they have to send their boring, bog-standard, vanilla humans. Very sad. Very sad indeed. <laughs> Worst promotion ever. Yeah, I can think so. I think so. Uh, there was definitely not um, a scenario you want to be ascending to, I don't think. Undead don't give a flying fuck about seeds. They'll leave him alone. Well, that's kind of nice. I mean, if he does survive, we'll see. But I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Remember, we did actually save on Embark. So, uh, if and when he dies, when he dies, uh, we can make a decision about whether we're going to reattempt the same Embark again and just try and get everything indoors as quick as possible or if we're going to go for a different site i'm not sure i'm not decided i mean this i want to give this one a chance right oh oh the zombies are coming in i think we've got two of them now yeah here we go rando's about to be taken out no it turns out rando's too fast for him just hanging out in the corridor checking to see if they've gone Come on, Rando. Can you uh, Metal Gear Solid it? Oh, he's seen all of his dead friends. He's not chuffed. And he's dead. Everybody died. <coughs> Your strength has been broken. Oh, disastrous. There we go. Offloading units. Oh, shit. Is this going to save? It's going to save, isn't it? It is. Knackers. I should have quit before we'd finished. Never mind. Hello, Weirus. Welcome back to the stream. You catch us at a sad moment. <laughs> the sack shriveled very quickly, Dragonfire. It shriveled quicker than it would have been if you'd filled your underpants with ice cubes. It's a shame. It's a shame. It took more time making the badge. It's true. It's true. And Salford Sal didn't get to nurture a single plump helmet. But you will. You will. Trust me. Trust me. We'll get, another, we'll get a fortress going and you'll be able to carefully tend to the plump helmets. You'll get one of the, get you one of those misters. We'll get you a little bit of um, uh, mycelium to work with. It'd be nice. You'll love it. You will love it. 
It will be fine. As previously established, Scoundrel can't lose Dwarf Fortress. That's only when I'm trying to lose, though. That's the thing. That's the thing. Ah, oh, dear, oh dear, oh dear. I did say about locking you in. I did, Tidy. I did. However, you know, well, maybe we give it a go. We can always reclaim that one. Most of the, a lot of digging's been done now, so it's all good, right? It's all good. It's all good. If you reclaim the fort, will the invasion still be there? I don't think so, because you advance time fairly significantly on a reclaim, and therefore, um, they should have left by then. But maybe not. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> Poor old Dragonfire. It'll be fine. Take another seven dwarfs to the same tile. You can use your embark points for the military gear because there's seeds and anvils there already. Okay, all right. We'll do, we'll do a reclaim. We'll do a reclaim next time round, which I don't know when that's going to be. It could be a daytime stream. It's not guaranteed, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Those of you watching on YouTube, will I even upload this video? <laughs> maybe, maybe. I mean, it's 41 minutes long. It might be worth it. It might be worth it. Anyway, YouTubers, bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. I'm going to stop the recording. Bye-bye.